In this video, I am going to discuss some of the useful VS Code extension which will help you to do a better coding. Okay, so the first extension is that snippet. Okay, you just need to uh, go to this uh, this extension. Uh, you can do also with the help of the Control Shift X with uh, this shortcut. So uh, the first extension is that snippet. So whenever you are doing the code, sometimes you need to use this snippet. This is very very useful based on your uh, framework or uh, uh, your programming language or technology based on that you can select the snippet for example for uh, javascript there are the extension so there are certain shortcut if you use that shortcut and uh, some of the way to do that then very easily you can do uh, like a snippet code snippet and ex uh, like a skeleton of the code will get generated for example angular snippet so in case of angular snippet you can uh, notice here uh, let me show you here it is as you can notice how easily uh, you are able to do the thing you can notice that uh, uh, this is auto completed some of the thing just you need to write certain shortcut and that's it so based on your framework based on your programming language or technology you can use the snippet you have you can find it just need to go to the extension section and search snippet and you can uh, find uh, extension based on uh, like your technology another one is uh, friends uh, better comment so let's type here the better comment so this is a better comment sometimes what happen uh, if you are doing the development and writing the code you need to explain a bit like if it is a error message then you need to write that hey it is this is the alert and this is the logic logic written for this purpose so if you will explain a bit with the help of the comment then other uh, developer uh, if they will read the code then they understand the meaning the purpose of written this uh, like uh, whatever maybe uh, logic and whatever so like alert query to do highlight so based on that you can write a comment so as you can notice there are different way to do a comment all these things you can do with the help of the better comment so you can check it out friends i am not going uh, into detail of each of this extension like how you can use there are the various shortcut and some settings so i am not going to uh, on detail but yeah you can check it uh, or uh, uh, you can find their documentation for better understanding if it is required and you can uh, then uh, you can tell me with the like comment section and i will try to uh, make a video for each of this uh, extension now another extension is that icon so uh, just type here the icon and you will find see some of the icon uh, like uh, is very important suppose there are lots of icon uh, like for the js for the java uh, uh, java or python or uh, json whatever okay so based on that based on the file extension there will be an icon present so that unintentionally you will click that icon only in angular uh, sometimes if you will uh, create any component then four file will be generated one is the ts another one is the css another one is the html or uh, spec.ta something like that so unintentionally uh, you just you will click that particular file only because uh, you know the symbol and based on that like sometimes what happened that by mistake you can click the any other file and you will find that no it's not my code i have to change it any other code so it might be useful and it looks very fancy and uh, very good so yeah so it will enjoy and feels good actually if you use the icon okay so there are lots of icon you can use any of this like there are the material icon there are the vs code icon as well you can use this one there are lots of icon for based on the extension and uh, there are other settings as well you have to do a setting since you need to do uh, shortcuts maybe so you will get uh, the folder and file uh, in this way with the icon another one is friends theme theme is important sometimes people don't like this theme and uh, some people are switched from any other uh, like uh, any other uh, code editor so if they like the different theme then based on that they can select 
okay so this also uh, looks very good so based on uh, like you look and feel what you want what you enjoy based on that you can select a various theme for example atom if i will click the atom then the atom uh, type uh, you can see there are the background color and the font or based on the coding okay so like functions and uh, variables name based on that you can see a colorful thing so if you like the atom one atom one dark then you can check it so you will find various theme and whatever you like you can select otherwise if you want to use the by default then it's okay another one is that git lens why git lens is important try to understand see git lens is important because uh, in most of the application nowadays people are using the git or any version control so if you are using the git version control then uh, their detail you will find uh, maybe in the right side you will find all the details like uh, uh, their branches and the comments and what the changes is happened everything you will able to track it so it will be very easy super easy while doing the code you can see the changes you can manage the uh, git related thing so that's a good thing actually otherwise uh, sometimes you can compare uh, uh, for the compare you need to go to the sites and whatever okay so it is very useful so you can also try this one so as you can see there are the working work tree and main branch and another feature branch and in the, on that feature branch some of the comments committed uh, commit are there you can check it and their changes as well when these changes happen everything another extension is that close tag okay auto close tag so let's type here the auto close tab auto auto close tag why this is important so sometimes what happen that you are writing a code okay html code and you have to close the tag you are adding a tag so for that uh, adding it uh, like a cl closing tag you need to write so you can save your time no need to close any tag it, it will be automatically closed okay so you can use this tag close uh, auto close tag feature as you can notice that there are html body and uh, it is body is automatically closed and division is auto closed so uh, it sometimes it's very useful another tag is that auto rename sometimes you are re uh, renaming your tag but what will happen suppose you rename the closing tag then opening opening clo uh, tag will also get changed and if you are making any changes in the opening tag then closing tag will also get changed so no need to update manually sometimes what happened uh, that during the development you change uh, the tag but you forget or maybe you are not find uh, the correct uh, like closing tag because suppose there are the lots of nested div so you will not able to figure it out for what div we need to close it okay if you will make the changes if you will change the div to maybe a, uh, maybe any other tag so based on that closing ta tag also need to be changed so sometimes very difficult to find out but this will be very useful closing tag another one is that uh, friends which is the path intelligence so let's click here the path intelligence so here it is sometimes you have to uh, include or import or provide a path okay file path so in that scenario this intelligence means one type of uh, you can say uh, ai they will understand uh, what the meaning means what path you want to import or use so based on that it will provide you a suggestion and this suggestion is very uh, useful okay so based on the file name uh, you want to import very easily you can do auto complete will be happen uh, this will provide you some suggestion so you will not able you will not do any mistake another one is friends npm intelligence so let's go to the npm and intelligence something like that you will find this one this is also very useful sometimes you are adding a library okay you you want to import a library but sometimes uh, uh, the name of the you can provide a wrong name maybe some spelling mistake and whatever so this will suggest you whenever you try to type then it will suggest you the correct path 
so that you will not face any problem so they will suggest you the correct part related to the npm node package manager so this is also very useful you can try it another one is uh, is turbo close tag okay turbo close tag uh, console tag turbo console tag why it's important see during the debugging you have to do a lots of console but it might be very confusing from what console uh, it is showing because lots of console happen and you will not able to recognize you need to check the order so you will say hey why not i will add some text is a text as well so that we will able to identify from where this comments happen so you have to do a manually right manually you will do and it will take lots of time and the people are generally developer are not writing all these things they are trying to do as quickly as possible okay so this will be helpful automatically console log will be happen and uh, for whatever variable you are using and uh, it will uh, like text or some string will be automatically will be written like uh, this console log is happening from the uh, first class okay there is a class name and there is a function name on what function it is console log happening and then for what variable console log happening so everything will be written so you will not face any problem you will able to identify from where this console log is happen so sometimes it's very important important and useful you can try it another one is friends import cost so just i am going to write here the import cost import again i have to write see uh, why import import cost is important sometimes you are using the huge big library you have to import it but but their size is very huge and you want to use only few of these packages uh, or modules from that uh, library or package okay you need few of these modules not entire library uh, you need because as you can see there are the import cost how much uh, kb it is so you can notice if you will include a load as then it will suggest you that uh, uh, lodas is a 70 kb 70 kb uh, library you have to use however you want to use uh, only few of this uh, like uh, modules from this library so now if you use any specific uh, modules from that library you will see that two, only 2 kb so drastically it's reduced okay so sometimes it's very useful and in this way you can do a better coding the code quality will be better and there there will be very optimized way to do a code now friends another one is that spell checker okay code spell checker so uh, let's look at the code spell checker just type here the code spell checker why it's important sometimes you are writing a variable you in providing the name but that name uh, there uh, like spelling can be incorrect so if it is a incorrect then it will suggest you that hey you are writing the incorrect or maybe any comment or anything the spelling is incorrect then it will suggest you this is very important okay this seems very small but this will help you to do a uh, like quality code so these are a uh, friends way to some of the extension you can use in your application to do a better code and make a reusable and understandable user friendly code so i hope you will uh, like it and if you will face any problem or if you want to share anything please comment me thank you